In this tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to build a registration page to sell a live class delivered via Zoom. We're going to pretend to be selling a yoga class that happens remotely, but you can use this solution to sell any kind of class. And the best part is that the whole system is going to cost you nothing. We'll use Zoom to deliver and host your live classes, Thinkific to register your students, and Stripe, PayPal, or both to collect payments. We will use free accounts for Zoom and Thinkific. Just know that Zoom's free plan limits meetings to 40 minutes maximum, and Thinkific's free plan is limited to three classes maximum. But to get started, the free plans will be all you need. Then, Stripe and PayPal offer free accounts, but both charge 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. All right, let's put everything together. You can download a checklist to replicate all the steps in this tutorial at grumo.com forward slash Zoom class. Let's do it. First step, go to zoom.com and sign up for a free account. Then download and install the Zoom app at zoom.us forward slash download. Launch the Zoom app on your computer. Click Schedule. Give the meeting a name. Select a date and time for your class. Set a password and copy it to an empty text file or piece of paper. Left the video off for both the host and participants. Choose your calendar type to set an event reminder. I'll use Google Calendar. Click the Schedule button. Select your Google account. You'll need to give permissions to Zoom to access your calendar. Click Allow. This will create a new calendar event for your class. Now open the event and copy and save the meeting link. Later, we will use Thinkific to send the meeting link and password to your students automatically when they purchase access to your class. OK, we're done with Zoom for now. Next, if you don't have one already, you'll need to create a Stripe account or PayPal account so you can charge for your classes. Just note, you will need a standard business account on PayPal to integrate with Thinkific. If you already have a personal account, you can upgrade to the standard business account for free. Just log into your account, find the settings icon, and scroll down to the account options section, and you will see the upgrade to a business account link. Now let's get you set up with Thinkific. This is where you will send your students to buy your classes. Go to thinkific.com and click Get Started for Free. Follow the steps to create your account. Go to Design Your Site and click on Theme Library. Pick a theme for your Thinkific school. Click on Site Builder to customize the look of your site. Thinkific Site Builder is very powerful. You can change colors, fonts, banners, and sections, and create even custom pages. For now, keep it simple. You can always come back and tweak your design. Now, go to Settings and click Site URL. Click on the three dots and enter a name for your school and click Save. Note that on free accounts, Thinkific.com will always be appended to your URL. You'll need to upgrade to a paid account if you want to use a custom domain without the Thinkific.com part. Now let's integrate Stripe and PayPal so you can get paid. Go to Market and Sell. Click on Integrations. Under Stripe, click Connect Account. Enter your Stripe credentials to complete the integration. To integrate PayPal is more complicated. You'll need to enter your PayPal email, your merchant ID, and to enable refunds, you'll need to enable PayPal IPN, which stands for PayPal Instant Notifications. Click on the Learn More links to see Thinkific's own guide on how to complete your PayPal integration. Great, now you can start taking payments, but hold on your horses, my dear groomer. First, we need to complete your instructor bio and then create your first class. Go to Manage Learning Content and click on Instructors. Click Edit under your name and then enter a short bio and upload a nice picture of your beautiful face. This bio will show up on your class landing page, so make sure it is well written. Perfecto, we're done setting up your Thinkific account. Next, we need to create your first class. Go to Manage Learning Content and click Courses. Click on the New Course button. Select Blank Course. Enter a title for your Zoom class. Click Create Course. Now, click on Add Chapter. Rename the chapter to something like Classes and click Save. Click on Add Lesson and select Text. Enter a title for your class. Now, enter all the info your students need to have access to your Zoom class. At least, you should have a welcome message, the day and time where your class is going to be held, a link to download the Zoom app, a link to the Zoom class you created, the password to access the class, and any additional instructions specific to your class. When you're done, click Save. 
Now, go to Settings and click on Course Image and Description. Upload an image for your class and add a description and click Save. Now, click on the Pricing tab. Next, click on One-Time Pricing. Then, enter a price for your class and click Save. Click on Preview Course to check how your students will see your class. Now, let's complete the landing page where you will send your students to register and pay for your classes. Click on the top right button where it says Build Your Landing Page. Click on Banner. Click Hero Image. Click Upload New Image. Select an image as your new banner. Click Upload. Click Save. Close the Hero Image tab. Now add a Call to Action button. Change the title to something like Register Now. Select a checkout page. Select a product which will be your course. Select a price and click Save. Close the Button tab. Go back. And now we can add more sections. Let's add your instructor bio. Click on Instructor. Add Instructor Bio. Select your instructor bio. And it will appear now on the page. Now go back and we can add more sections. Type text, select text and media. Now you can change the description of your course and the heading as well. Welcome to Yoga with Grumo. Click Save. Go back. Let's add more sections. I would recommend you add a call to action at the end of the page. And you can add also testimonials and reviews as well to increase conversions. And you can reorder your sections by dragging and dropping. When you're happy with your design, click Save to finish. We're almost done. Before publishing your class, let's go back to the main admin panel. We're going to set an automatic notification that will send the class credential to your students as soon as they purchase access to your class. Click on Support Your Students and click on Notifications. Click on Course Welcome Email. Click the Switch button to enable student notifications for your new class. Then click Edit. Here, I would copy and paste the same text we added to your class. This way, your students will get all the info they need to access your class as soon as they pay for it. When you're done, click Save. Now we can go live. Go to Manage Learning Content. Click on Courses and click on your class. Click on the Publish tab. Select Published and click Save. Perfect. Your class is now live and ready to start taking students. The final step is to promote your class and start making sales. Go to Settings and copy the link to your class. Paste it on a new tab to preview your landing page. If you're happy with it, you can promote your link and start making sales. Boom! And that's it. You just learned how to charge for a Zoom class using Thinkific. If you want to see more tutorials like this on course creation or monetizing your knowledge, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and bye-bye.